Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow from the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor, board certified through his studies at UCLA. And Dr. Darrow uses stem cell and platelet-rich plasma therapy to heal your body. He teaches about the use of stem cells, PRP, and prolotherapy. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Nita Valens. Well, hi there, Dr. Darrow. Nita Valens, you look gorgeous today. Oh, you always say that. You always I know, say but that. I can't help it. How do you do it? Um, I stay out of the sun, actually. <laughs> That's really the truth. That's so funny, because all I do is try to go in the sun. Well, um, I've always just been very, very pale, and when I would go in the sun, my I would get sunburn. So it would I would really suffer with that. So I said, okay, no more of that. So what we're going to well, do today for our wonderful listeners is... We're going to make people feel great, hopefully. And the way we do it is by stem cell and platelet therapy. And the idea is to regenerate the body, don't operate on it. And I'm showing the camera a copy of my book right now, which is Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. And uh, the foreword is by Suzanne Summers. It says, PRP and stem cell therapy might be just what you are looking for. This book could change your life for the better. And the book has um, a couple hundred pages. It's got about 250 studies in it, scientific studies, on how to heal the body with simple injections of stem cells or platelets, PRP. And that's something I've been doing over 25 years. Um, I love it. I've brought in Dr. Thomas Grove, G-R-O-V-E. You can see him on my website, which is www.jointrehab.com. He's extremely qualified, has been in this field since around um, the year 2010 or so. Um, He has very great ultrasound experience, and I'm very, very lucky to have him. We're a great team. He's doing most of the injections for me now, which is amazing. So um, we want to get your calls, and if you call, we're going to send you a copy of this book for free. Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. I'll even pay for the postage. Yay. And then (laughs) (laughs) the number to call us right now, we would love to hear you, because Nita and I get bored of each other, right, Nita? Well, you know, it has been 14 years. Come on. We're like an old married <laughs> couple here, right? <laughs> yeah, still getting along great. Uh, but anyway, the number to the studio right now to talk to me live, ask any questions you want about musculoskeletal pain. That means your, your ligaments, your tendons, your joints, your neck, your back, your shoulders, your knees, your hips, your toes, ankles. I don't care what it is. I treat all of it. We inject all of it. The phone number right now is 866-870-5752. 866-870-5752. If you want to catch us at the office, there are people by the phones there, and the number there is 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. And to watch me doing videos of these procedures of stem cells and PRP, platelet-rich plasma, just go to your your internet. It's www.jointrehab.com, www.jointrehab.com. So um, let me think, Nita, what do I want to do here? How about um, if I go, well, let me say a couple other things I just thought of. And give the phone number, please. Okay, phone number to the studio so I don't have to ask Nita stupid jokes that oh, please, stump her. Oh, please, please. Goddess, save me. <laughs> <laughs> phone number to the studio, 866-870-5752. I do have a joke for you, Nita. Okay. Are you sitting down? Always. Okay. Why couldn't the bad sailor learn the alphabet? I have eh. no idea. Because he always got lost at sea. Oh. Wow, that's really a good one, actually. 
isn't it? I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's I like the smart ones. That's okay, which why I never get them. <laughs> no, you've gotten a couple in the last few years. <laughs> Nita, what does a spy do when he is cold? When he what? When he's cold. He comes in from the cold. That's part of it. He goes undercover. Oh, okay. One more, Nita. Put on your thinking cap. I left it at home. Go on. (laughs) How does the moon cut his hair? The moon? M-O-O-N? Yeah. Eclipse it. Oh, that is a really good one. That is a good one. I like it. Nita, come on. You can do better. Oh, no. Three's a limit. Three's a limit. (laughs) All right. And our phone number is? Is 866-870-5752. If you don't call, I'm going to ask Nita more dumb jokes. Oh, please spare me. (laughs) Come on, callers. You can do it. I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go to some questions that came in from the Internet. And um, I get questions all day, all night from all over the world. And I love when people stump me with different things. So let's see what this one says. Lower back pain. So we get, um, well, I think most of the questions we get on the Internet are about knees and ankles and backs and necks, right? Anyway, this one is um, lower back pain. I have lower back pain for quite some time. I went to a chiropractor and it helped, but it's not completely healed. I would like to try prolotherapy and like to know what the procedure is and how it works. Can you also send me a free book? Yes, 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 we'll be happy to. And he's got the person's address. So So what is prolotherapy? The word prolotherapy comes from the Greek word proliferate, and it means to stimulate new tissue growth. So that's something that I started with back in, uh, I think it was 19... 43. (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't born in 43. Um, Maybe I was, but just on a different uh, timeline. Who knows? Um, So prolotherapy is the old type injection that was done with sugar water, concentrated dextrose. Did it work? Doesn't seem like it would. I mean, sugar water, we drink that all day, right? But it works. It does work because Nita had it done on her neck. Twice. Twice. Mega years ago, and it helped her heal, and she didn't have to have surgery on her neck. And uh, it worked on me, on my shoulder, my wrist. Um, So it's a very great procedure, and it is done by some doctors still. But it's, I'm going to call it old technology, because it's not as powerful as what we have today. So back in the day, I used to inject people with prolotherapy, with uh, sugar water, concentrated sugar water mixed with uh, lidocaine, and it worked. They would create an inflammatory cycle. The inflammation brings fibroblasts to the area, and uh, the fibroblasts literally spit out and grow new tissue. So if you sprain an ankle, you don't run to a surgeon. It gets, it's hurt, and it swells up, but the body then naturally heals itself. So that's what prolotherapy is. Now, today, PRP and stem cell therapy really are a more advanced form of prolotherapy because it still creates inflammation, but now the PRP, the platelets, have growth factors and cytokines, and stem cells actually form colony units of new tissue. So uh, I like to mix everything together and um, mix the prolotherapy in a certain sense, meaning PRP, with stem cells and get the best of both worlds. Occasionally, someone will come in from the old days and say, I want prolotherapy. And I go, well, we have a new form. And they go, no, I want the old form because it worked. And I go, how long ago was that? And they go, well, that was 25 years ago. And I go, <laughs> how, how much older are you today? How much more beaten up are you? So, you know, if you want me to, I'll use it. But I don't have the highest hopes that it will work as much as PRP and stem cells. So low back pain, what do we get with that? It's typically a back sprain. It's typically the ligaments, iliolumbar ligaments, or the um, attachment of the quadratus lumborum muscle, or uh, the thoracodorsofascia, which all connects 
at the top of the pelvis on the back. So you know where those cute little dimples are on people's backs? That's a lot of action there in terms of where things connect and where a lot of people get low back pain. Now, unfortunately, many people end up getting surgery for low back pain. And the same thing with neck pain. As a matter of fact, I just had a patient who uh, yelped me and asked a question. This was about um, a few weeks ago. And um, we uh, texted each other and talked to each other finally through Yelp, Y-E-L-P dot com. And um, if you look me up, if you look up Mark Darrow, MD, you'll see that I've got a few hundred Yelps there. And you can see what people say about these procedures. And um, some of them are not uh, great responses, uh, and I have to answer them. But I can't, the thing that's so funny about Yelp is the HIPAA law is a violation of me responding. So I can't respond even mentioning that I know the patient. That's a law of privacy. They can say anything they want about me. So I have to respond generically about what goes on. I can't mention who that patient is or what their complaint is really about. But nevertheless, this patient said they were going to have neck surgery. And I said, please explain the problem. And after the explanation, we spoke on the phone. I said, I don't think you need neck surgery. And that's the same thing with backs and most parts of the body. I don't think most people need surgery. Okay. There are times when surgery is really important to get done quickly. If you have a broken bone, uh, if your bone is sticking out of your leg or your arm or something like that, yeah, you better get to the surgeon quick. But most people that come in and say they are ready to have a surgery end up not having to get it because we can heal them. So I'm going to give out the phone number again to the studio, 866-870-5752. Nita, I'm not looking at the caller screen, so if anybody calls in, you can alert me to that. I will. And um, if you call the office, you get a free phone consult with my staff. That's free. You just call up. They know most of what I do, and it's for free. You can call them up anytime, and the phone number to the office is 800-300-9300. You can call there for an appointment, too. And um, you can go to the website anytime you like, watch me do videos, or email me through the website, which is www.jointrehab.com. So the name of my clinic is Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center. This is Dr. Mark Darrow. And, uh, oh my gosh, let's see. Tennis player, here's another question. SI joint. What's that? Interesting. SI joint is the sacroiliac joint in the low back. Okay. It, um, it's a lot of people have SI joint dysfunction or sprain or arthritis, and they end up getting surgery or they get it bolted surgically. And I think it's the worst thing a person can do because we can heal it most of the time with uh, stem cells or platelets. So this person says, my daughter is a 22-year-old D1 college tennis athlete d1 is the highest level that means that that is a great player my daughter played d1 soccer and it's a full-time job in spite of studying these these kids um, i'm not going to say they have it rough because they love it but there's not much time to do anything else they don't party there's no time to party and the coaches are very strict with them so d1 college athlete tennis player back injury that led to two MRIs and a CT scan. We are considering PRP for the SI joint. She has gotten a little relief from anti-inflammatory medicine and oral steroids. Never take oral steroids for pain. They can kill your hips. Yes, it happens. Look it up. Look up steroids and hip um, arthritis or hip... um, trying to think of the term that's used for it it's where the hip actually dies it's an osteonecrosis okay osteonecrosis necrosis means death and osteo means bone and all these terms i'm giving you you can look up on google and then in the upper left hand corner you can actually 
look at images. Just click on images and you can see pictures of what I'm talking about. Now, a lot of people come in with osteonecrosis and they're ready for, let's say, a hip replacement or shoulder replacement. They don't need it. Yeah, the bone can be dying, but we can save a lot of it by using stem cells or just even platelets. And <clears throat> a lot of times, if you don't treat it, the cartilage wears down very quickly. So this person with SI joint problems, um, I don't see that as a big deal. I think it can heal. Um, I've had it done to me. I can't reach back there to inject my SI joint, but I've had it injected. I've had my low back injected with amazing success. One treatment and it cleaned it up. And that was a long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. I've had it done a couple times since um, because I do pound the ground quite a bit with running. And um, I haven't played tennis for a while. I've moved over to golf. But golf also can loosen up the ligaments on low back. So uh, I get tons of golfers, tennis players, football players, soccer players, you name it. I get all kinds of athletes in here. And I get a lot of 90-year-old people, too. I've had a couple of 100-year-old people. I have a lot of kids. Age really has nothing to do with this. Most people heal. So the shout-out to this person is, yes, bring your daughter in. I would love to see her. And uh, there's very good hope we can heal this without any more steroids. Anti-inflammatories are no good for anybody either. They cause uh, kidney issues, liver issues, and I've had two people die in the intensive care unit from bleeding because they took too many anti-inflammatories. And the studies show when you take it, it actually makes you worse. So why do it? It blocks. When you take anti-inflammatories, you're blocking the healing process. Doesn't make sense, right? Because our culture has anti-inflammatories all over the place. You can go over to um, any drugstore right now or pharmacy and pick up anti-inflammatories. Your doctors are handing them out by, like candy. It's not good for you, I'm sorry. It may feel good, but it's like uh, winning the battle. You feel good right away, but then you lose the war. You end up worse off down the road. So I'm going to give out the phone number, Nita, so you don't have to have a question asked of you about what's the answer to a joke. No, I'm not. I'm going to ask you. <laughs> Nita, <laughs> oh my God. when do computers overheat? I have no idea. When they need to vent. Oh, my gosh. These are real intelligent ones today. I mean, it's out of my out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> well, well, this one, you're a pretty smart lady. Why did the scarecrow win the award? Because he was the scariest of them all. That sounds good. No, because <laughs> he was outstanding in his field. Oh, you'll have to send me some of these so I can study them. Then you can ask me in six months. <laughs> I've got thousands of them. patients send to me all the time. And people listen on the radio. So I get tons and tons of these one-liners. I think they're so silly. But it's sad. We can't really tell real jokes anymore because someone will be offended. But what are you going to do? No, these are real jokes. These are really, like, these are intelligent jokes. All right, good. All right, let me go to another question. Uh, left knee pain. Okay. Uh, let's see what this person says. I actually think we could we go got to a Desi. Call right here? Okay, Desi, Dr. Mark Darrow, your right knee has a lot of pain. What's going on, Desi? Well, a couple of months ago, it came in like very lightly, no big deal. I don't even remember how I injured it, if I even injured it. I just started noticing a little bit of pain. It's on the inside of the knee and it's right okay. around the kneecap by the bone there's like a okay. bone on on my uh, right knee inside yep. and yep, when i yep. press down on that it's a lot of pain when i do certain stretches a lot of okay. pain um i made an appointment with an orthopedic doctor but i listen to you all the time on saturdays and i just okay. thought you know what um 
maybe maybe uh, the stem cell might work for me instead of whatever he's going to tell me. I don't know if it's a meniscus. I do work out at the gym. Good. Um, but I'm a, a big baby. I don't uh, pound my knees or because I've already had surgery on my left knee. I, okay. I blew out uh, the ACL and fractured okay. my tibia and some lots of problems. So I had okay. surgery on that knee. So okay. I, I don't want surgery, but I don't know what this is. But okay, I'm going to tell you what it sounds like first, and then I'm going to say the same thing I tell everybody on the planet who who uh, texts me, emails me, calls me, whatever it is. I'm not going to know really what's going on until I touch it. Right. Once I touch it, I know what's going on. It takes me literally a second. And um, the area that sounds like you're talking about is the medial meniscus, and that is like a pancake between the bones it's a cushion and it, mm -hmm. it comes up all the way to where you're talking about where the patella is the round bone in the front of the knee uh, all the way around and um, the next thing I would do after touching it is I would look with an ultrasound so I can look inside this is not an ultrasound that you use to heat up the body or heal it it's an ultrasound that's like a camera so I don't need to send you for an MRI right away. I can just look inside and tell you what's going on, right? right. And then I'll Do you have, have a really that equipment. I have three of them in my office. Okay. So yeah, um, everybody that comes in, I look at with an ultrasound for that, and we'll see if there's fluid in there. We'll see if um, it's something we can help you with. Based on what you're telling me, what you have isn't too bad, and. Um, I tell the story every once in a while about, um, I remember when it was, at least a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago, during COVID when um, we couldn't ride in carts on the golf course. We had to walk. And I played a course called Mountain Gate. And it is up and down. It's very steep. And um, it's very hard to push a cart there. And the grass is very, very thick. So I was playing golf, and I typically run when I play golf, when I'm not riding in a cart. And I had been running in the mountains also, and the weather was great. And um, so I was just overactive, and I blew my knee out. And I limped off the mm. golf course. It was a Sunday afternoon. I limped off the course, and I mean really limped. I could barely walk. Drove down to my office, which is across the freeway from UCLA on Wilshire in West L.A., and uh, I put the ultrasound on it, and I was aghast because I had a giant fluid connection in the knee, which we call an effusion, uh -huh. which I knew meant I really screwed myself. And, uh -huh. uh, and I tend to do that. I was a gymnast when I was young, and I competed in gymnastics. We were hurt all the time, falling off the bar. Was a high, I did mostly high bar. And um, we we're just used to being hurt. I grew up being hurt. So I can take a lot of pain, believe me. And um, my wife is always on me, stop doing that, stop doing that. And I go, why? She goes, because you're already limping a little bit. And I go, I don't care, I can keep going. And I do keep uh -huh. going typically until I can't move anymore, whatever joint it is. And, you know, I'll be honest, I've blown out both my knees, both my elbows, both my shoulders, uh, my right wrist, my neck, my back. I broke some ribs. Um, the bionic I'm, I'm, man, huh? Well, I'm for, <laughs> no, I mean, I really am in a sense because I started um, working on my own body over 25 years ago when I was at UCLA doing my residency. And then I taught there for another 20 some years. Um, I taught about regenerative medicine, which is platelets and PRP. Back in the day, we called it prolotherapy, and I taught that. So I know about this stuff. You know, I've injected myself probably more than anybody has been injected on the planet because I've injured myself so many times. I was always that kid that, hang with us here, and I, we're going to the break just for a couple minutes, Desi, because I want to get more to what's going on with you, okay? So if anybody wants to call in, please do. You can talk to me live at the studio at 866-870-5752. You can call the office and talk to people at 800-300-9300. And the website is www.jointrehab.com.
You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Dr. Darrow's practice is located at the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. 